The Blue Umbrella by Ruskin Bond Chapter 7 Well, now that Ram Bharosa has the Blue Umbrella, a gift from Binya, as he tells everyone, he is sometimes persuaded to go out into the sun or the rain, and as a result he looks much healthier. Sometimes he uses the umbrella to chase away pigs or goats. It is always left open outside the shop and anyone who wants to borrow it may do so. And so in a way it has become everyone's umbrella. It is faded and patchy, but it is still the best umbrella in the village. People are visiting Ram Bharusa's shop again. Whenever Biju or Binia stop for a cup of tea, he gives them a little extra milk or sugar. They like their tea sweet and milky. A few nights ago, a bear visited Ram Bharosa's shop. There had been snow on the higher ranges of the Himalayas and the bear had been finding it difficult to obtain food. So it had come lower down to see what it could pick up near the village. That night it scrambled onto the tin roof of Ram Bharosa's shop and made off with a huge pumpkin which had been ripening on the roof. But in climbing off the roof, the bear had lost a claw. Next morning, Ram Bharusa found the claw just outside the door of his shop. He picked it up and put it in his pocket. A bear's claw was a lucky find. A day later, when he went into the market town, he took the claw with him and left it with a silversmith, giving the craftsman certain instructions. The silversmith made a locket for the claw. Then he gave it a thin silver chain. When Ram Bharusa came again, he paid the silversmith 10 rupees for his work. The days were growing shorter and Binia had to be home a little earlier every evening. There was a hungry leopard at large and she couldn't leave the cows out after dark. She was hurrying past Ram Bharusa's shop when the old man called out to her. Binia, spare a minute. I want to show you something. Binia stepped into the shop. What do you think of it? asked Ram Bharusa, showing her the silver pendant with the claw. It's so beautiful, said Binia, just touching the claw and the silver chain. It's a bear's claw, said Ram Bharusa. That's even luckier than a leopard's claw. Would you like to have it? I have no money, said Binia. That doesn't matter. You give me the umbrella, I give you the claw. Come, let's see what it looks like on you. He placed the pendant on Binia and indeed it looked very beautiful on her. Ram Bharosa says he will never forget the smile she gave him when she left the shop. She was halfway home when she realized she had left the cows behind. Nilu, Nilu, she called. Oh, Gori! There was a faint tinkle of bells as the cows came slowly down the mountain path. In the distance, she could hear her mother and Bijju calling for her. She began to sing. They heard her singing and knew she was safe and near. She walked home through the darkening glade, singing of the stars, and the trees stood still and listened to her and the mountains were glad.